Hey everyone, Hunter from Ron Cichlids here. Today I'm going to be showing you our newest expansion for the business. This is what we call the outside summer grot. We added 18 275 gallon totes, six on each row, so about 5,000 gallons added. So we did these the same way as we did the fish house where they have constant new water in and then it drains the pond and then these uh, all have air going to them, so sponge filters. Uh, run by the blower. So I'll show you the water line. It's connected from the fish house. It's the well right there, and that's the fish house. We ran it underground. It comes up right here, along with the uh, power. And it comes in right here, the water, and then splits off. Goes that way, down each row. So we're just about into May, so it just temperature is just not warm enough where I can start putting fish out here. There's nothing out here yet, but uh, within the next week or two, I'm going to be moving a lot of jewies from inside the fish house out here. So yeah, the water comes in back there. First line for these vats goes that way. The other line goes this way. Right there, it splits off, goes that way. And the other one in the back there. These are all run by a uh, half horsepower blower. That comes up to here, splits off in the air, goes that way. The air goes here and splits off, goes that way, and then goes that way. I've got the air really turned up for these because uh, I want to make sure it's really getting recirculated and the water staying clean. Like I said, there's nothing in here now. It's the middle row. And this is the other row. Because we got less tanks, we ran uh, two inch for the drain instead of three inch like we did in the fish house. And all these have a uh, bulkhead and then down to funny pipe, which all goes into uh, the two inch. And then all that all on this side goes to the end, goes to the left, this one goes to the end, meets with the other one, right here, pops out, and then goes to the pond, which I'm about to go I'll show you guys now. Uh, but yeah, the water coming in the back, and goes out right there. So these, these ones will stay crystal clear. Like I said, I'll, I'll move, uh, move fish out here in the next week or two. And I'll probably do a video uh, showing you what I moved um, when I do that. But all right, I'm gonna show you the uh, the pond where all the water goes. Like I said, it's ran underground. And then the one for the fish house over there comes out right there and then goes underground right there where you see the white pipe. So this is the two inch from the uh, outside grow out. You see the water coming out there. So it just comes in along with the, uh, the other pipe. You can't see it right now, but the three inch pipe right there is from the fish house and it comes out right there. Some fish right there. Yellow blaze. Some red empress, Obi Fryeri, Venustus. They all come out here to be fed. Red from Borali, some Fryeri, Obi Borali right there, Venustus, more yellow blaze. Got some Babano comps out there. 
So I mostly just put out um, fish that are deformed or I can't sell or or females that I have too many of. Um, I just put them out here. Nice little yellow blaze right there. Retron Borlai. Once it clears up some, uh, I'll probably do a, a video with a GoPro in there so you can see the fish. There's a nice Venustus down there. Male. But uh, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll be doing another video, like I said, soon uh, on the fish I moved out there. I also, um, these are all the 75 gallon tanks and 40 gallons that are going in the fish house. We'll be doing a video showing you uh, them after I set it up. And then after that, we're going to have another video of the uh, newest expansion um, right here. Uh, this is going to have a building put up in the next uh, few weeks. Uh, and this is going to have about 18 75s and 18 uh, totes. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.